Now, as we can see in Harlow's unusual experiment, these isolated baby monkeys chose not to hold on to their metal mothers who had milk, but instead chose to starve and hold on to the furry ones. We did everything we could. It was too late and So how was it? Man, it was horrible. Hey man, what's up? Are you alright? Uh Nah. Why am I so awkward about touch? Do you need a hug? Maybe it's just our generation. You know, our skin has receptors that stimulate emotion. And these nerves can cause resiliency to pain. Sterile. A decade ago, a condition called marasmus killed 99% of babies in orphanages before reaching the age of one. They sterilized the babies, thinking it helped, but they kept dying. Hey, did you drop this? Finally, a nurse snuck in and gently touched the babies, and they slowly stopped dying. Touch was found to be super important in early childhood development. Hey, we need one more player. You want to join us? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, come on! <laughs> Oh, hey! Oh! Wow! Did you know, <laughs> a slight touch on the arm makes you more receptive and willing to participate in activities? <laughs> Look at me, I'm playing frisbee now and I don't even know how to play. Oh, you caught it! Yeah! <laughs> that was awesome. In medieval Europe, nobles had these huge beds where they had room for their wife, kids, servants, and knights to sleep together, to stay warm. Today we see it as shameful and uncivilized. Touch is so uncommon, unhygienic, and even invasive, so we hide behind phones and laptop screens. So how are you doing? <laughs> good, good. Yeah. Did you know touch releases oxytocin, which is a very helpful hormone? No, I did not. <laughs> now you know. Knowledge. Okay.